Welcome to the Nathan.net. Today we're going to cover the strings command. And this command is useful if you have a binary file and you want to see the printable or readable characters in it. So first let's take a look at the man page. So you can see here it gives a little information about it and it has a lot of options. As you can see a lot of these options would be really handy if you're scripting something, but I have never used any of these options. The main thing I use it for is if I have a binary and I want to see if there's anything in it that might be readable. So it might be like a kernel module that has a config or something option in it. So let's uh, take a look at maybe uh, the wireless driver for the wireless card in this machine right here. So if we do LS mod, we can actually see. I knew it, it was an RTL. And then we can grep lib. So now we want to take the .ko file. And I'll do a file on it first. And there you can go. You can see basically that this is an executable. So let's cat this file and see what happens. And you can see it's just a bunch of garbage on the screen and it messes up your terminal. So reset. And uh, if you ever have that happen, you just type the reset command and it'll reset your terminal. So we'll go back to that. And now let's take a look at it with the strings command. And we can uh, pipe this to uh, less. Yeah, let's do that. And you can see all the readable characters. Let's go to the very bottom. And you can see in here, there's, I'm just doing a page up, page down. There's a lot of stuff in this one. So we can also search this. So let's search for everything in there that's readable with Wake. And uh, you can see that there's some different things in there. None of this is really helpful, but this kind of is hopefully to give you an idea of, you know, if you do cat a file and get something like that, that you can actually... Uh, use strings to pull out just the readable characters and without messing up your terminal. I hope you enjoyed this video. I kept it short and to the point because that's mainly what I use strings for. It's It comes in handy and it's not something that I think a lot of people cover so I wanted to go over it here. Thanks for watching!